Welcome back to me and you outside. I'm so glad you're here. Guess what I'm going to do? I caught some smallmouth bass, and I'm cleaning them, and I'm going to make some fish tacos. But I'm going to show you a good way to skin or, or uh, fillet a bass to make tacos. And it'll fit right in the taco just perfect. So watch this, okay? This will be interesting. Now I'm going to do a simple fillet here, a normal fillet. Again, I don't use electric knife. A lot of people do, and that's fine. I just have good luck with a regular knife. I control it better. Big old beautiful fillet on these things. Small mouth bass. I know a lot of people don't keep them. That's fine. <clears throat> All right. Now I've got this simple fillet here. And I'm going to cut this rib out of here. I got this rib right here. See this right here? This, this fillet right here. Now I'm going to cut it right down through here. And I just cut off this piece right here. On the back, on the bottom part of the fillet. And now look at this. I've got this long, beautiful fillet right here. And I'm going to keep that together. I'm going to fry it just like that. And that's a big old long piece of fish. That'll fit right down in a taco. So perfect. Or a burrito or anything like that you want to do. We'll use uh, probably soft uh, soft shell tacos. Flour. And I'll put right down in there. We'll put all our stuff with it. We'll show you how we do that. We'll taste it together. It's going to be wonderful. I'm going to cut this piece of uh, filet off of the outside of this rib here. That's a good piece of meat right there, too. It's a little fat, so I'll cut it in two pieces. That right there will fry up nice and crisp. Go right in a taco also. Oh, my goodness. It's ridiculous how good this stuff's going to taste. Another big old filet right here. Same thing. Just cut it. Get that out of there. Cut that right down through there. Big old long piece of meat right there. Fries up so good. When you fry a big piece of meat like that, you got to be careful because you can break it and, and mess it up. You don't want to do that. But it does happen. And it wouldn't be the end of the world if it did. Okay? All right. Anyways, we'll fry them up together at the cooking pot. Okay? That's where we'll see you next at the cooking pot. Frying smallmouth bass for tacos. And it is going to be so good. Y'all will watch this and your mouth will water just like it always does. You watch us eat this stuff. But it's just a lot of fun. We just love doing it. And uh, so I'll see you just around the corner here. Just a little bit. Um, we'll get the, the grease going. And get the pot going. Get it hot. 365 degrees. Something like that. Drop it in. Mm, let's go. Here we are at the cooking pot, just like that, boom. This is actually the next day, next evening. I got my grandkids down here, got my daughter, my son-in-law. We are going to make fish tacos. Now, I know a lot of you have heard about fish tacos. Some of you have tried fish tacos and you like them. I have tried fish tacos. Um, it's been a long time ago, and I did like them a lot. But tonight, we're going to have smallmouth bass tacos who's ever heard of that i bet about 95 percent of y'all watching this have never had smallmouth bass tacos that, well, that's what we're going to cook now i got my fire going here i'm already at 350 but i turned it off because it got a little warm here on me i'm gonna crank her back up get her going again keeping her up here she's a little uh, right at 350 i'll let it get up to just a little over 350 before i put my fish in Here's my fish right here. I got it in milk. See that? Remember these big old fillets? I just took off that that uh, that bass right there. See that long fillet? Now, when I put that in the hot grease, I know it'll curl up, but that's okay. It'll curl up. We'll break it into we'll break it into nugget-sized pieces to put on a taco, and these are going to be really good. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in my Zatarans. I put it in a gallon Ziploc bag right here. It just makes it easy to shake it up. I have one of them fish shakers and I do bowls and I just do whatever I have handy or whatever I feel like doing is what I do on that particular on that particular time. All right, my grease is getting back up there now. <laughs> grease is ready. Here's what I'm doing right here. I'm taking my fish out of this milk. Mm. 
I'm telling you folks, one of the best fish in this country, white bass, or uh, smallmouth bass, and people don't even know it. It's gonna be a, those are hopefully they'll lay right down in a taco. We'll see how much they break up. Oh, my grease is plenty hot. Plenty hot. I'm getting plenty of fish in there and that'll cool it down. There's another one of my taste testers right there. She's a professional taste tester for that girl right there. What's neat about her, she don't like something, she'll just tell you. She's not afraid. <laughs> Look at her, does she's tough. She just looks tough. Don't you bring me? Yeah. Yeah, she says yeah. Don't think she's tough, just check it, take a look at her. See that? Arnold Schwarzenegger ain't got nothing on her. <laughs> right. Now I got this cooking over here really good. This is the last of the fish right here. I'm putting it in the batter. The milk is empty. I'm gonna shake this just a little bit. It is a bubbling over here, or something fierce. Remember, let it bubble for just about a minute and then scoot it around a little bit. Some of the pieces will stick to each other. If you don't do that, you're gonna have a mess. Just kind of shake them easy, real careful. If you do it, if you get rough with it, they'll break, they'll break up. Some of them had stuck together, now they're unstuck, see? They're looking real good. See that? Them big long pieces? Mm -mm -mm. They're not curling up as bad as I thought they would. The wind's really blowing here because they're calling for severe storms tonight. Severe storms. But, who knows what that means. My temperature's hanging about 315. Which is cooking really good. Look at that. We're getting really close to, being, to coming out. Real close. So, check it out, brown, if you have brown like that, they'll be brown, that means they're in good shape. Also, you got a lot of fish floating over here. See that fish floating right there? See fish floating like that, you can tell it's done. These little pieces, I'm going to go ahead and take them out. All this for fish tacos, Bentley. You think you'll like fish tacos? Yeah. I think you will. What about you, Jackson, running the camera? Yes, I like them. And big long pieces curl up on me a little bit. I knew they would. But Look, that's actually, I don't think I will like them. Yes, you will. I don't think I will. I don't think you're gonna like them, Brindley. I think you're gonna love them. Well, Look at that. That's them big old long pieces. They'll fit right down so perfect in a. Uh, they'll fit so perfect in a taco. Won't they, Jackson? Mm-hmm. I'll put the last of it in there and we're done. All right, tell you what, you're gonna see us doing here next. We're gonna be uh, in the kitchen building tacos, okay? Building tacos fish tacos not just fish tacos but smallmouth bass tacos so friends we'll see you inside and here we are in the kitchen now my wife right here is a professional taco builder she's gonna build a fish taco yes yeah, like any other taco out there sort of but we're using fish and maybe a few other ingredients that you would normally use in a taco but it's gonna be good, so here she goes. Build away, Sandy. Okay, I've already cooked the tortillas. Um, these are tortillas that you can buy and you just cook them, they're raw, and you can cook them on your griddle. They're really good. I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream, because I like that. I'm gonna grab a piece of, couple pieces of fish. That. And there's a, all kinds of things, just like a taco, that you can put on you, whatever you like. You can put that on there. I'm gonna do some cheese. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of cabbage, goes good with fish. Shredded cabbage. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do some shredded lettuce. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do some tomatoes. Gotta watch you get it too big for your taco shell, but that makes them good. And here's some avocado, the chopped messier, up avocado. The, the messier, the better. The messier, right? the better. And then you can use um, ranch dressing. We've got some garlic, roasted garlic sauce. I'm gonna try that on mine. There's a variety of things you can put on your taco, obviously. And a little sriracha. I like mine hot. Mm. Okay. You can also use salsa, just anything that you like. You can put that on. You can even have onions. My family's not big on onions, so I didn't make any tonight. Taco. So then here you've got your taco. You've got your fish and all the ingredients in there. So we'll take... And then everybody's going to take one and build a taco, and we're going to have a taste test in just a little bit. We'll see you at the table. Oh man, are we sitting down to some good vittles right here. Look at Brinley's got her a big old fat fish taco, mate. Is that a fish taco or no. meat? She's you got the meat. Cheater. <laughs> we made some meat because that Jackson's guy right there don't him. eat fish and he never has. Have you ever eat fish in your entire life? Yeah, a long time ago. He must have got sick over fish or something. We don't know what happened to him, but he's obviously got some kind of an ailment. <laughs> but anyways. Alright, Jackson, can you fold that up? That thing is huge. It's huge. He's gonna try a fish taco. Now he has a fish taco. We already prayed over our food here and we already blessed it. So we're ready to go here. But I'm gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jackson, you can do it. All right. We're all rooting for you. All right. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I move on while he's chewing on that. Oh, boy. Amber's not near as big as that one there. It's the one Jackson had. <laughs> But that's still good size. You try to get a bite of fish with that. You did, didn't you, Jackson? A little mm -hmm. piece of fish. What do you think of it? It's really good. I like it. Isn't it good? Uh -huh. I know it's good. Best fish taco I've ever had. <laughs> now, Scott over there, he's actually, it's pretty cool because he's eating the elk burger. I killed an elk last year. Went on a solo elk hunt. <laughs> I killed an elk and brought it back and had it ground in a hamburger. And he's eating the elk, elk burger taco. So, kudos to you there, Scott. Scott, even though you don't <laughs> eat fish, you'll eat wild meat. That's all right. He loves deer and elk. There's a big old fish taco right there. Look at the size of mine right here. You can't even, boy. Amber, isn't it good? It is good. They're just so it's good. This good. is smallmouth bass. I tell the people on here a while ago, if they're still with us and haven't fast forwarded to the end of the thing, but uh, that, that, that uh, very few people have smallmouth bass tacos, including that one right there. <laughs> <laughs> She'll eat a piece of fish probably here in a little bit, but she just wanted a regular taco, which is I fine. I already ate a piece of fish. You did, did, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You're excused. <laughs> All right. What's the What's the verdict, Jackson? Good. It's very good. Lammer, good. Mm -hmm. Scott, yes. your, is your elk taco good? Yes, it's good. Very good. All right. Better than go. the last fish taco we had. Uh -huh. Way Ooh, where was that at? Cancun, Mexico. Cancun. <laughs> oh, we had, yeah, we were in Cancun, Mexico yeah. and had fish tacos. Yeah, they, 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 weren't, they weren't no good. <laughs> These are really good. Thank you for watching me and you outside. We're so glad you're with us. I know this has been rather a short video, but uh, just wanted to do it for fun. Get out and catch you some fish, make you some fish tacos. You will actually be surprised. When I first heard of fish tacos, I thought that was so weird. But then I kind of, I tried them one time, like, oh my goodness, they're so good. We had some fish left over from a fish fry when we made tacos out of them. So it's going to be good. Bass is good. Good eating fish. Thank you for watching this uh, video. And um, there is another video. And I, where's it coming from, Amber? <laughs> right around the corner. Don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs>